You can get two types of babels, ba- babels, basils. Hello, Tiny Reviewer friends. Today I'll be reviewing Chicago's Home Run Inn, established in 1947, Premium Pizzeria. It's the 75th anniversary. Can you guys even see it? Yes, you can. All natural, made from scratch. Uh, uncured pepperoni, and it's a classic pizza. From Home Run Inn, reviewed a sausage and a supreme pizza. So this is our third one. The baking instructions is conventional oven, Nutrition facts and ingredients. It contains wheat and milk because it's pizza. Family of the dream. Uh, well, these t- this is from the front side. I made pizza with the purpose. I wonder what the purpose might be. It says, we believe children and families should never go hungry. Yeah, I still go hungry. <laughs> so honest to say, that purpose doesn't work for me. But I still don't go, go hungry. I'm telling you, 30 minutes after I eat lunch, I still need another snack. And what that snack is? Peanut butter jelly sandwich. <laughs> Just saying that I need to eat a lot of stuff for lunch in order for me, me to go for two hours after dinner. And I'm also spending 30 hours trying to open this pizza box. Why won't this open? Because I'm afraid I'll cut myself with cardboard. And I'm telling you, it's painful. It's like 5 million times more painful than a paper cut. See, it's cardboard. It's basically 100% thicker than paper. And then again, copy paper is pretty painful as well. So I guess you can't say that. Anyway. It says, it doesn't say any like thin pepper, it's like thin pizza or anything. So it's just a classic pizza, so it's like medium thickness. But I assume if we puff it up, it's gonna be pretty good. I think the cheese is already preheated, as you can see the burn spots. Yeah. Our pizza is partially baked and cheese is melted. Okay, well that makes sense. Let's take out the p- p- um, plastic wrapper, put it in the oven, and for 15 to 17 minutes, I will wait patiently. So my dad took the pizza out of the oven and wiped out that amount of grease. So if you don't know, I have an arrow garden, which is basically a home version garden where you can plant herbs, fruits, vegetables, lettuce, flowers, anything basically. So I just took um, a few stems of basil and I'm gonna arrange it artfully on my pizza and probably move that away. Into the trash can, not on the counter. My mom will hate that. <laughs> and here. So technically, if you want, you can eat the basil on the pizza, but I just like doing it for like the scent because I love herbs for some reason. The smells I'm gonna save to eat because. <laughs> but some of the herbs, if you let it grow for a long period of time, it actually goes really big. But remember to wash it first. We well you do, well you don't have to, but like healthier, I guess, because it's like washed, not with soap and water, but with just water. And my favorite. Okay, so I am back. My dad cut a pepperoni off. Not bad. It's not bad. Is it the best? No. But I personally find it okay. My dad says it's too oily. Like, it's greasy. So, I mean, is there a pizza that's not greasy? No, so I guess all pizzas are greasy, but like overall this is really greasy. Because you saw how much like oil and grease came out of it. My dad's rating is 3.8 because of grease. Mine is just 3.5. So if you're wondering what type of basil this is, because if you got the herb garden for the arrow garden, you can get two types of babels, ba- babels. Basils, you can get Genovese or a Thai. I, I like the scent of the Thai basil, but it's like lemon a. But this is the traditional Genovese basil that you see all the time. It's not bad, but is it the best pizza in the world? No. Can I eat it for a meal? Yes. Well, that's it for today. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe and press the like button. And I'll meet you again on this brown silicone pie table. And I'll see you again in my other videos. Bye!